Folks, welcome to Spelling Bee Round 1. Oh, what? 11! 11! It's 11! Whatever. I'm your host, Artificial Intelligence Researcher and Perfect ACT Scorer and Perfect GPA, Rifat Bari. Waggle. And today, we have our contestant, Professor and Mayor Saborn Isaac Berry. Are you ready? I was born ready. We'll see about that. Your first word is craft. To uh, craft. C-R-A-F-T. That's one thing. What does craft mean? Craft means to make something. Okay, correct. Are you ready for the next word? I said I was born ready. All right. Next word is craven. 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 What is the definition? The definition is to be cowardly or to be shameful. Oh, craven. no. Craven. Craven. C. R A V E N. Craven. Okay, that's one wonderful yes! craven. Okay, next word. Credence. Credence. Can you tell me what it means? To trust or to believe. For example, do you want me to use it in a sentence? Yes. The scientist had much credence because he had a high H index. I would assume it's actually pronounced credence, but C R E D E N C E. Next word, are you ready? I was born ready! Suss! We'll see about that. Next word is credulous. Credulous. C R E D U L O U S. Announce the definition to the viewers. What is the definition? Let me ask you that if you were born ready. Hmm. The definition is. To be credible. <laughs> it I... might sound like the last word, but that's wrong. <gasps> the definition was actually to be gullible. Wait, so does that mean I only get 0.5 for that word? No, no, you <gasps> spelled it correctly, so okay. you get one point. Yay. Next word, are you ready? Yes. Next word is, drum roll please. Oh. Next word is decorum. Decorum. Oh no. Decorum. I can use it in a sentence. Say the definition. The definition is to have good manners. What was the word again? Decorum. Decorum. D E C O R U M. That's right. One oh, three. Three. Yeah. Da, da, da. Okay, next word. I was ready. I didn't ask. Sus. <laughs> uh. Sus. I know. Going to <laughs> uh, deference. Um, deference. Can you? Uh, I don't want to take any risks. So can you tell me what it means? Yes, deference to show respect. It's or I can use it in a sentence if you want. Um, reference, but with a D at the beginning. I am just kidding. D E F E R E N C E. Slow down. Say it again. D E N. Wait, wait. No, no, no. D E R. Do you want me to say that word again? Yeah, yeah. Deference. Deference. Wait. D E F E R E N C E. That's what I can't do. Letters. One point for deference. Okay. Next word. Deflect. Deflect. L E C T meaning to ref um meaning to like if you have a shield and it blocks a bullet and turns it in the other direction, it deflected the bullet. That's right. It, to divert something. Deftness. 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 I know you're intentionally pronouncing it as to make me say deafness. Deaf. Deafness. But it's D E. One point for deafness. Woohoo! What is the definition? Um, what does deaf mean? Uh, okay, I'll tell the good folks watching. Deafness means to be, to have a lot of dexterity, to be able to use something, uh, or to be good at something that requires your hand. So, for example, artisans have a lot of dexterity or deafness. People who do pottery have a lot of deafness. Okay, next word. I was ready! Uh, delineate. Delineate. D E L I N E A. Slow down. Do, do, slow down. Do, start over. 
Okay, Mr. I can't hear. D E L I N E A T E, Mr. Wow, you're on a roll. Okay, now what is the definition of delineate? Um, to divert, to uh, uh, to bring something off their original path. No, delineate <gasps> means to describe accurately. What? Right. So, for example, if there's, uh, if you're trying to explain the space shuttle, how the space shuttle works to a layperson. Or the James Webb Space Telescope. Yeah, yes. If you want to explain how the JWST works to a layperson, you're going to delineate sus, sus, how sus, it is. Okay. Sus, we don't talk about that here at Barry Science Lab. And a last word, demur. 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 Be careful, you can ask me to pronounce it again. Pronounce it but slow. Demur. I said slow, idiot. Demur. D E M E R Say it again. Okay, Mr. Deaf. Slowly. D E M E R. Oh no. Oh no. Gotcha. I don't like this mother! It is a U. No! Not a E. So that's a zero. No. For the last one. But nevertheless, you get yeah, 90%, baby. which is 30% above what you need to enter the next round. Congratulations. Brought to you by Brilliant.org. Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science.